Hello, Veritas Squad. Welcome to Yas Veritas. So in case you aren't following me on my other platforms, such as Tumblr, Instagram, and AO3, oh, if you haven't already, click the link in the description to read your an avalanche, please, and thank you. As I was saying, in case you aren't following me on my other platforms, you probably don't know about the latest anime that has overtaken my life in every conceivable way. Last school year, I started watching Assassination Classroom with a group of friends. And it utterly and completely destroyed me and my mental health. As soul-destroying as some moments were, there was something that stuck out to me. Something I couldn't really put my finger on until I watched a video from one of my favorite creators here on YouTube. Kaide Kayano. Everyone's favorite pudding-obsessed, ponytail-wearing plot twist. Kayano injected herself with tentacles in order to get revenge on the assassin the Reaper, who she believes to have killed her sister. Augury Yukimura and Class 3E's original teacher. Augury worked at the lab where the Reaper was being experimented on by this brick. They developed a relationship, but then he went rogue and the building collapsed and she got harpooned and then the Reaper became Koro-sensei to teach 3E out of guilt slash respect slash love for Augury. Koro-sensei removes Kayano's tentacles after she learned the truth, but during the final battle we learn that she still retained her kinetic vision. Still having this ability, she decides to interrupt the fight between Koro-sensei and his old pupil, the Reaper 2.0, and try to turn it in their favor. Horrifically, she is only able to land a single hit before getting speared through the chest by one of 2.0's tentacles. She dies instantly and falls to the ground. 3E watches in pure terror, while Yanagisawa laughs maniacally and says some evil stuff. Meanwhile, Koro-sensei, still weak from the fight, inches over to Kaino's body. While Yanagisawa is distracted being terrible, Koro-sensei starts supercharging, and is able to access his full power. He defeats the bad guys, but as Nagisa so eloquently puts it, The fight was over, but none of us were shouting for joy. So, like I was saying, the class is completely in shambles, and I'm sitting here, I'm shaking, I'm crying, I'm hyperventilating. Why must you hurt me in this way? But at the same time, I'm desperate to see how this loss will affect each student and teacher individually. Then this happens. Several months later. So, a few months later, I'm watching my favorite reaction YouTuber watch the anime that broke me. Weird. Yes, I know. Maybe a little part of my brain enjoys watching the rest of me suffer. I don't know. Anyway, during the final reaction video, he says something that changed my entire outlook on Kayano as a character. It's good that she's okay, but I was kind of excited about being sad about Kayano's death. The amount of thought that I put into this analysis is embarrassing to say the least. But now it's time to answer the million dollar question. Yes. This girl has had enough near-death experiences to be a protagonist in a direct-to-DVD Disney movie sequel. Kayano's an incredibly written character, but after looking through all these instances, it appears to me that her character arc was set up to end in her death, which was foreshadowed in both the first and second seasons. It was also this loss, which was so similar to Augury's, that pushed Koro-sensei to reach his full power and destroy the bad guys. So Kayano staying dead could work with the storyline that had already been set up. Alright, that was a long video, but I just had to get all that chaos out of my head somehow. I referenced his content a few times here, so please go check out Danny Yamada on YouTube if you haven't already. Like I mentioned before, he's mainly a reaction channel, but he has started branching out into new formats. He is one of my favorite creators on this platform. Hilarious, fun, and always so engaging. Now, for the routine stuff, please be sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe so you'll never miss when I post a new video. I know I've been pretty inconsistent lately, and I hate it, and I'm sorry. <sighs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!